your vermicelli bowl made at home. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time, guys. Stop playing around. I'm telling you guys, quick time. You guys playing around. You guys still just at home and stuff. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll put it on takeout for you guys, right? Food and life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys enjoy this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on. Be a part of the notification. Dang. <laughs> all right, woke up craving some Korean barbecue, guys. I don't really have all the ingredients for Korean barbecue, but we have some short ribs and galbi, guys. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best Korean barbecue at home ever. Dumbling. So this is Korean short ribs or galbi. I have a kilogram of beautiful short ribs here. Time to marinate this bad boy. Two tablespoon ground ginger. Three tablespoon onion. Two tablespoon chopped garlic. Half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of salt. Half a tablespoon of pepper. Two tablespoon of sesame oil here. Next, four tablespoon. No, let's go five tablespoon soy sauce. Okay. Next, two tablespoon of brown sugar. You know what? Let's go three tablespoon of brown sugar. Two tablespoon of honey. A teaspoon of chicken noir right there. Lastly, half a cup of water. Go take that beautiful clean ham of yours. Get into it, guys. Get into every single crack of this. Only thing I'm missing from this would be some green onions and a pear or kiwi. But doesn't matter, guys, because garlic and ginger does do have that enzyme to break down or tenderize the meat there. Let this soak for five hours or overnight, okay? I want to apologize to all the Korean barbecue lovers out there, guys. Just because I don't have all the ingredients for Korean barbecue, we're going to switch it up. So, I have all the ingredients for a bong or Vietnamese vermicelli bowl. So, we're just going to do it that way, all right? Let me show you how easy it is to make the best vermicelli or Vietnamese vermicelli bowl ever. Don't blame like Vermicelli noodles I use. So, the brand's called Golden Swallow. I got three. Three pieces here, guys, which I'm just gonna soak in water for about 30 minutes before it starts boiling in, all right? For our protein, we got some galbi and we got some marinated shrimp here. So I got some five shrimp here. I got a teaspoon of garlic here, teaspoon ginger, tablespoon of onion, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of fish sauce, or a little more, no matter. <laughs> I got a tablespoon of brown sugar here. We got a teaspoon of hot chili powder, just a teaspoon, or if you like it more spicy, go in on it. A tablespoon of oil here. Oh, beautiful clean hand. Get in on it. Let this marinate for five hours as well. Next on the list, pickled daikon and pickled carrots. So, I got roughly around 10 small carrots here, which I'm just gonna peel for a second. A lot of you guys told me that I peel, or not peel, I shave like this. You ain't wrong. <laughs> quick time, guys. You know? You know my phrase, quick time? Just gotta be quick, guys. But just don't go my speed, though, okay? Please, take your time. I'm a professional. <laughs> Next, take your shredder tool, or I don't know what it's called, a julienne tool. And we'll shave off some carrots. I'm just gonna shave, not too much, just a bit of it, okay? Time to pickle. So, take all your carrots and daikon, throw into a nice bowl. 
like so. I'm gonna go three tablespoon vinegar, four tablespoon white sugar. Give us a mix. Ooh, cha, that's a lot of sugar. <laughs> that's okay. It's gonna pickle. It's gonna be nice, sweet, and tangy. That's what we want. You know what? A little more vinegar. And let that sit in the fridge for about five hours as well. For my fish sauce, guys, this fish sauce is already uh, done and up. It's ready to dip. It's ready to pour in your noodles. But to make this, I'm not gonna show you guys how to make it. I'm just gonna tell you how to make it. So. Uh, five cups of water, one cup of fish sauce, half a cup of white sugar, uh, do a tablespoon of white vinegar, do one lime and one lemon, or just squeeze it all in. Get that on a simmering boil, and once it's nice and boiled, take it off the heat, let it cool down, put it in your nice elastic pickle jar here. Let it sit there, don't cover it up, throw it in the fridge when it's nice and cooled down. Uh, I don't add any garlic or peppers yet. When I do use it, I do add in the pepper and garlic. Some peppers here. Yeah. Okay. These are just fingerling pe peppers, I believe. And these are Thai chilies here, which I'm just gonna chop up too. Okay, put it together. Go for it. So I added the fish sauce in already. All I gotta do, just a bit of garlic, maybe a little less. There. That's it. And that's my fish sauce, guys. Spicy, sweet, tangy, all types of umami in your mouth right here. You can dip it or just pour it on to anything. It's gonna blow your head off, guys. That's how tasty it is. Three minutes in, <laughs> boiling water. Drop in your noodles for about, say, two to three minutes just because we did soak this beforehand, okay? If you guys didn't soak this beforehand, it's gonna take around eight to 10 minutes or even longer. Make sure you soak this before you throw in some water. Vermicelli complete. We're gonna dump it out. Rinse it under cold water or warm water. Just to stop it cooking, huh? Five hours in, our galbi is complete. Test here, which I'm just going to put my shrimp on because I want some grill marks on me. Three minutes. First things first, our vermicelli. We got a mixture of mixed greens here. Just a bit, guys. Vietnamese coriander. Let's throw it in there. We got some mint leaves. Just a bit. You don't want anything overpowering here. Okay? Here's some daikon. Shrimp. Make sure you cut it with scissors to make it more authentic. All right. <laughs> you don't cut it with scissors. Just throw the whole dish away, guys. That's all. Get some extra meat. Pull this carrot up a bit. We got crushed peanuts. We got some shallots. There it is. This, my friend, is.
your vermicelli bowl made at home. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time guys, stop playing around. I'm telling you guys, quick time, you guys playing around. You guys still just at home and stuff. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll put it on takeout for you guys, right? Takeout for you guys. Quick time, guys. Best vermicelli bowl you guys are popping your mouth, I promise you. I promise you. Vermicelli bowl or Vietnamese bún thịt I don't know why I say it like that. <laughs> Nobody say anything. Oh, too close, too close to them. No, it's all good. So, sweet, tangy fish sauce. I'll put a lot of chilies on there. Back off for a bit. Nobody say anything. Come through. Bite on this. Galbi. <laughs> Not your traditional boom tit new, but this will do, guys. Let's get it nice. Super pop for this. It's been a while since I had this. Oh, man. That, my friend, is beyond crack, crack. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Noodles and salad. Mm. Super fun. Alright. That legit. Mm. Tastes amazing. Okay, I'm not gonna gnaw on these bones yet. I'm gonna gnaw, them, gnaw on them after this, okay? Try to get through this. Huh? It's got a nice soup pump for this. This, my friend, is everything you want. Hmm? The shrimp? Oh. Sorry. I had to take that coriander out. Okay. Now it's more aesthetic. Quick tap. It's got a nice soup pump for this. Mm hmm. Be on crack, my friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, I know I forgot the spring roll, but this, my friend, is enough. Enough bite of this. Quick time, the galbi. Let's get it. Nice. Soup pump for this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh man. Need some little more chili peppers in this. I gotta burn your butt when you eat this. We'll burn your mouth. Why don't say burn your butt? <laughs>
There it is. I felt like it was a little too high. This right here, packed with delicious meat. Unbelievable. Meat to noodle ratio, guys. Does not match. <laughs> I'm gonna say, if you never had Vietnamese cuisine before, or Bung Tit Nguyen ever before, or this vermicelli dish before, I promise you, first time you'll try it, you'll probably fall in love. You'll fall in love with me, and you'll fall in love with Vietnamese food. I promise you. I know I was promised you all the time, but. Just trust me, okay? <coughs> oh! Beautifulest thing ever. This is not your traditional cuts of meats and marinade for Bong Tin Nil.
Well, I want to say it works. It works very well. All right. That's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Peace out.